Hi everyone! I was recently gifted this ginormous jackfruit and today we will be cutting it open. Before we start though, let me give you some facts about this popular tropical Asian fruit. First of all, did you know that it is the world's largest tree fruit? Yes siree! The jackfruit can weigh up to 100 pounds and grow up to 3 feet long. I must say, that's pretty impressive. Though the average size that you typically see sold in the stores is about 10 to 25 pounds. And just one jackfruit tree can grow 100 to 200 fruits in a year. If you have never tried a jackfruit before, they taste like a delicious blend of pineapples, mango, and bananas. It is hands down one of my most favorite fruits to eat. They are also packed with nutrients, including fiber and antioxidants. Even the seeds inside the jackfruit are edible and is high in protein, potassium, calcium, and iron. I had actually made a trip to the supermarket to take some photos of the jackfruit, but when I got there, there was only one lonely jackfruit left. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Where's the rest of them at? <laughs> I then realized that they were on sale that day for only 59 cents a pound. No wonder they all disappeared, cause that's a bomb of a deal. The funny thing is that after taking some quick photos, I had left the area for less than 5 minutes to go pick up some things in a different section of the store and when I returned to the jackfruit, the one lonely jackfruit was gone. <laughs> Someone had obviously placed it in their cart. Oh well, at least I don't feel so bad for it anymore for being the last one picked. <laughs> Instead of buying a whole fruit, I usually prefer to buy the ones that are already prepared for you. The bulbs are plucked and then placed on a styrofoam plate, saran wrapped, and is ready to eat. There is no work involved in this one as someone has already done the work for you. Yes and thank you. <laughs> this plate here that you see? I had purchased for $7 at a Vimy's specialty store that sells all types of Asian fruits. If for some reason though you cannot find fresh jackfruit, they are also available canned. I actually prefer to use the canned ones when making my jiatai or Asian fruit cocktail dessert because it is just quick and easy to do so. I'll put the link for the recipe in the description box below if you're interested in making this yummy Asian dessert. If you're going to buy a fresh jackfruit, it'll be ready to be consumed once it is ripe. The skin will turn color from green to brown. Also, a ripe, unopened jackfruit will emit quite an unpleasant odor. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. <laughs> it stunk so bad in my house, I had to put the jackfruit in time out. <laughs> I actually left it outside in my patio until we were ready to cut it open. But what's fascinating about the jackfruit is that even though it may stink on the outside, when opened, the fruit actually smells deliciously sweet on the inside. Alright, let's cut open this beast. This jackfruit that I was gifted probably weighs about 20 pounds. It's pretty darn heavy. Lucky for me, my in-laws just happened to be visiting from Vietnam, so I have asked them to help me cut open this jackfruit. My brother-in-law's family actually grows their own jackfruit trees in their backyard in Vietnam, so he has had to open many jackfruits in his lifetime. Before cutting into a jackfruit, you may want to cover your workspace with something disposable, such as a disposable tablecloth as we have done here, because opening a jackfruit can be a bit of a messy process due to the sticky sap. Okay, what he's doing here is applying some oil onto the knife. Then he's going to slice off the top part of the jackfruit. The knife that I had given him to use was sort of dull, so you're going to see us switch it out later for a better knife. You'll need a good knife in order to cut through the tough skin. Unfortunately, I don't have any fancy knives in my house, just cheap ones. <laughs> As you make cuts into the fruit, some sap may ooze out of it. Just simply take a paper towel and dab it off. So he's going to start off by cutting the jackfruit horizontally. Then he's going to cut each piece vertically. 
Again, wiping off the sap as he goes. He's going to make one more cut and remove the core. Now he's going to repeat the process with the other half. He tells me that back in Vietnam, they prefer not to use gloves. They just coat their hands with some cooking oil. He is just pointing out that the two pieces at the top no longer have sap coming out of them. So after removing the core, just bend the jackfruit backwards. Doing this will loosen the bulbs from the fibrous layers and separate each one. Then you can simply pluck them off. After he had plucked off the first bulb, I just had to have a taste. I couldn't wait any longer, guys. <laughs> The sweet smell makes it so irresistible. And of course, after eating the first piece, I definitely wasn't disappointed. It was perfectly ripe and damn delicious. <laughs> if the inside of the jackfruit is like a light yellow in color, then it wouldn't be as sweet. That just means that the jackfruit isn't quite ripe enough. If the color is like what you see in the video, then it will be perfectly sweet. And if it's kind of brownish instead of yellow, then the jackfruit is overripe. So what he's doing now is just simply splitting open the bulbs and removing the seeds. He's also going to set the seeds aside so that we can cook them later. My sister-in-law has decided to jump in to help her husband because it will take forever for one person to finish this task. You definitely want to get someone to help you. My in-laws tell me that there is no need to wash or rinse the bulbs as by doing so, it can cause an upset stomach. And now he's just going to finish cutting up the rest of the remaining jackfruit. Now we are going to cook the seeds. Many people say that the seeds have a flavor and texture similar to chestnuts, but I think it's more similar to a potato. <laughs> it's kind of bland and starchy. So start off by boiling the seeds in some salted water for about 45 minutes to an hour or until they are soft. Once they are done cooking, just set them aside to cool. Then peel the skin and enjoy them as a snack. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please don't forget to click the like button before you leave. I really appreciate the love. Thank you again and have a wonderful day guys. Until my next video, I'll see you later alligator. Bye!